Good evening, CSU. I'm Lauren Wilson, your favorite entertainment anchor, here to bring you the latest news on all things awesome. The Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang are in full swing, and boy, are there some amazing athletes competing. But it wouldn't be a worldwide sporting event without a little drama. Monday's opening of Olympic ice dancing was overshadowed by a major wardrobe malfunction. Early on in her performance, one of the French female ice dancers accidentally exposed her torso when the clasp behind her neck caused her costume to fall down. According to reports, the incident made her and her partner fearful and distracted during the rest of the show. This comes as quite a shock. I always thought the French were comfortable with nudity, but apparently not. The Pepsi Center and Red Rocks receive a lot of attention for their concerts. But did you know that Fort Collins has a pretty awesome music scene of its own? One of FOCO's most popular music venues is Hody's Half Note, located on College Avenue. I had the chance to interview one of the bands and watch them play. Let's check it out. Hody's Half Note is one of the best places to see live music in Fort Collins. Every week, it offers multiple opportunities to discover both famous and upcoming artists. Last Saturday, Hodes showcased The Mighty Pines, a bluegrass fusion band from St. Louis, Missouri. The band formed five years ago, and since that time, it has been hard at work trying to share its songs outside of St. Louis. Bluegrass and acoustic music and mix it with um, oh, yeah. sort of some cool yeah. yeah. songwriting sensibilities mixed with some really fun um, bluesy rock and roll. The Mighty Pines sound has been compared to The Eagles and Crosby, Stills and Nash. But the band believes their music, which incorporates both traditional and modern musical elements, has a unique sound that anyone can find something to like about. The Mighty Pines are currently on tour to promote their latest album, called Lonesome Blues. They recommend starting with the first song, called Great Divide, to get a sneak peek of the album's essence. Listen to, listen to the first track on our new record. The record's called Lonesome Blues. Hody's Half Note, formerly called the Starlight, is a highly popular venue. Historically, the location has hosted such artists as John Mayer, Rise Against, and even Vanilla Ice. Now, the Mighty Pines have left their mark on Hody's, and they promise to be back soon. Although some songs may be new, their love of music will be exactly the same. Hody's Half Note showcases talented musicians several nights per week and is open to all ages. For more information, visit their website at hodyshalfnote.com. With flu season upon us and midterms quickly approaching, stress levels are higher than ever. Luckily, artistic activities like drawing, sculpting, and painting have been shown to reduce negative emotions and improve one's immune system. Right now, I can't think of a single student who wouldn't benefit from some art therapy. Pino's palette is the perfect place to get the creative juices flowing. Described as a paint and sip studio, Pino's offers guided painting classes that can be taken while drinking wine or beer. And if you're not 21, you can still enjoy a non-alcoholic beverage while you work. Pino's provides all artists with their own canvas and workspace, and it also gives you all the art supplies you will need to create a masterpiece. Wine is an additional fee, but if you're like me and you need it to unleash your inner artist, I'd say it's worth every penny. Check out Pino's palette when you need a break from the stress of studying. This Thursday evening, the guided class will teach students how to paint a starry galactic tree. But more importantly, bottles of wine are half price. Marvel's new movie, Black Panther, premiered in theaters this weekend, shattering box office records and proving that most people don't care about race. They really just care about cool superpowers and special effects. The film features a primarily black cast and was directed by Ryan Coogler, an African-American creator. Black Panther tells the story of T'Challa, the future king of Wakanda, preparing to take the throne after the death of his father. These plans are interrupted by the emergence of a villain with a vendetta. So T'Challa must summon the full power of his superhero alter ego, Black Panther, and fight to claim his rightful place as king. Black Panther currently has a score of 97% on Rotten Tomatoes and has already grossed $235 million since the holiday weekend. According to my own estimates, approximately 67% of the revenue has come from popcorn sales. Well, Rams, that's all I have for you. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for Local Beats so you can stay up to date with all the hottest local music. I'm your host, Lauren Wilson, and I thank you for tuning in tonight.